recently, I titled as Vice President for Sales Strategy and Dealer Operations for Chrysler Group in the U.S. So, Mike, what have you shown here at the Chicago Auto Show? Well, the Chicago Auto Show is a, is a great opportunity for us to show virtually our entire range. You can see the space that we've got. We carry across Chrysler, Jeep and Dodge something in excess of 30 vehicles. So we've taken the opportunity here, firstly, to launch the new 4500 and 5500 chassis cabs, as well as the redesigned 2008 Dakota. And of course, as you can see behind me, we have our new minivans on display. Now, let's just go right into it. The, 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 the pickups. You've got some Asian pickups that have just come out. How are you going to strategize yourself against the Asian pickups? Well, I mean, we play in a hugely competitive marketplace. The U.S. is probably more competitive than anywhere else. And so our approach with our pickups will be the same as we do in any other sector. We're going to, we're going to be talking about the benefits of our brand and the benefits that our pickups bring to that market. You probably know we use the tagline, the most uh, durable, long-lasting trucks on the market. We'll continue with that. And we're going to focus on some, some real USPs for us, like the Cummings turbo diesel engine that we have that provides a great powertrain, fantastic torque and engine characteristics for our truck, as well as the legendary Hemi. I mean, we're the only ones with a Hemi. We launched in 2007 our MDS technology, which gives us good fuel economy in that engine. It's where some cylinders deactivate themselves when you're cruising. So any fuel economy in that fairly tough segment is going to uh, play well. And of course, we've now got uh, the full lineup of our chassis cabs with the launch of the 4500 and 5500. And that's all incremental business for us. We haven't been in that segment for a long time. And I've launched, and, and I think we've launched some very strong uh, competitors in so. Did you Were your dealers asking for those? Yes, our, our dealers, um, our dealers, Dodge dealers that play in the commercial market, were asking for us to expand that range, and we did that. We made commitments that we would do that. And they've been waiting for these vehicles for some time. And as you know, because we've now gone to a standard rail, it means they can be upfit, upfitted by most of the upfitters in the U.S., which again is good for them. So they're really looking forward to receiving these vehicles. Uh, we, we know that your dealers have, ha have a lot of vehicles on their lots. And they are still vehicles that are not on their lot that need to be sold. How are you taking care of that? Is it, sp is it starting to work itself out? Yes, it is. If you looked at our dealer stock position from the middle of 2006 to the end of the year, stock on dealer's lots came down fairly significantly. In fact, it came down another 50,000 units alone in January, which was a commitment we made to our dealers that we would balance our production and our sales rate. We did that in January. We intend to keep doing that through the full year. So you will see some slight moderation down in stocks, but we've moved them down fairly significantly, as we've said. Do you have a tough month ahead of you? I understand there are going to be some layoffs or some cutbacks. Well, um, Thomas Order has talked about an announcement coming up on the 14th of February where we'll talk about the future plans for the company, making sure that we are set up right so that we can be highly competitive in the auto industry across the globe. Um, he'll announce those plans on the 14th of February, and as you can expect, with a company the size of ours, with a lot of people interested in those plans, and um, you get full details from the 14th. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.